And Raspberry Pi. Okay, so here we are in the manual page, and we have tons of stuff in here. So, what plugin do we want to work with? Let's use. Oh, let's see if. You know what? We can use the Bioloid since we've been playing with Dynamixel Pixel so much lately. So I can go on to Servo and Dynamixel. And here's the plugin for Dynamexel. We'll click download. And it's going to download the file. Now, clicking on the file is not going to know what to do with it. It's just going to say, it's just going to open it up in this folder for you. Um, so what we want to do is go to a command prompt, your terminal prompt. And if you look in your downloads folder, there is the file that we just downloaded right here. So to install this, we need to run the um, Easy Builder plugin program. So this might look confusing to you, but what we're going to do is we're going to go back a folder like this, then we're going to say front slash Easy Builder, and then we're going to put Pi on it, and then we're going to run, if you hit double tab, it'll show you all the name of the files. I think it's called Plugin Manager. You might have to look actually in the folder here, see what it's called. There we go, Easy Builder Plugin Manager.exe. So Easy Builder. Oh, there's this weird S here. It's not supposed to be there. What's going on? What is that S doing? Download. Oh, that's my dollar sign for my folder I'm currently in. That was catching me off guard for a sec. Okay, backslash, easy builder pi, front slash, easy. Why are you not tabbing and telling me what the file is? Here, let's copy it from here. It's probably because it's not declared as an executable file. And this isn't going to work. If I hit enter, watch what's going to happen. It's going to be an error message because it can't find that file because it has all these spaces in it. So there's a couple ways you can do it. You can put it in quotes or we can put a slash where it is. And then we specify the download file, which is the plugin file. I just hit 5e and then I hit tab. Then enter. Oops. I'm going to hit up arrow and go back to our command. We forgot to actually say mono on that. So we're going to tell Mono to run the, pro the plugin program and the plugin itself. And there we go. It's just like you remember with Windows, here's how it installed the plugin. So now when we go back to Easy Builder, we click Add. And in plugins, there should be a plugin in here. Why is there no plugin in here? I wonder if, I can't see it happening, but, oh, I bet you I know what I did. If we look in downloads, oh, look at that. Yeah, where are we, we everything I just did, you have to ignore. Ha, huh. see this folder, Easy Builder? Because we ran um, the Easy Builder Plugin Manager program in the downloads folder, it created a folder called Easy Builder that stores the plugin information. So Mono is not that smart. It doesn't use your, oops, um, it doesn't use your uh, folder, your installation folder. So, oops, RM Easy. So I'm just gonna delete that Easy Builder folder. And instead, let's go back into the Easy Builder folder and we'll do it this way. So we're gonna Mono Easy Builder um, plugin manager, and then we're going to go back a folder into downloads, and we're going to table tap and hit 5e. 
There we go. So this time, because we were inside of the folder, same folder as Easy Builder, um, here we have our installation. And now, if we run Easy Builder, exe oh yeah I'm surprised how quick it is considering it's on a little $30 computer okay so if I go to project add we should see our Dynamax will plug in hopefully let's take a look plugins there it is nice and if we go under servo we should see it there too and there, we added a plugin. That is super, super cool.